Hello. So what I'd like to do in this video is show you how to evaluate for the inverse sine of negative square root of 2 over 2. And when doing this, I really like to make sure I write kind of the, another notation for it without the inverse, and then also determine what the range is. So when writing it kind of as a, um, as a function, I can write it as y, sorry, the sine of theta is equal to negative square root of 2 divided by 2. And so what I'm trying to figure out when writing it in this format is saying the sine of what angle is equal to the negative square root of 2 divided by 2. And that angle theta that we're talking about has to fall within the range of negative pi halves and pi halves. So what angle, possible angles, fall between negative pi halves and pi halves that when we take the sine of them equals negative square root of 2 divided by 2. Now remember, when we were talking about finding the value of sine of an angle, we always looked at the y coordinate of the coordinate point on the unit circle. So when looking, all I simply want to do within the fourth and the, and the first quadrant, I want to see when is the y coordinate negative square root of 2 over 2 and for what angle. So we notice my angle is going to be at this point, uh, uh, for this coordinate point right here. And I have two angles here. I have an angle I could go in the negative version, or I could also go in the positive version, plus all my other coterminal angles. But if I go in the positive version, you notice that my angle is going to go outside of the range of the function. And remember, our inverse functions have to stay within our range. Therefore, I can only apply my negative angle, which is going to be a negative pi over 4. So what that says is the sine of negative pi over 4 is equal to the negative square root of 2 divided by 2. Thanks.